I received a package in the mail the other day and it has got two Christmas gifts in it. There is a card. A card. I don't know what's in the card so I better read it off camera. <laughs> Best witches from the Batrium fam. 2017. My first Christmas card. Radio. Do we open them up? We're not going to save the paper. Just get them open. Oh look at that. He's gone all out with the Christmas paper and not really with the boxes. What are you doing Jared? Alright, let's open these up. This is going to be an awesome unboxing. Now I think I know what these are. I've got a funny idea I know what they are. Scrunch that up, throw that over there. Oh cool. One. Cables, some power cords. Big cable for something. And this other one. Now, holy heck. Look at the size of this one. Oh, all of the plastic wrapped around it. Be a bit careful. We'll leave the rest in the box for now. Cell 5 is about to take a beating. We all wondered what we were going to do with Cell 5, and Cell 5 is still alive. So we've got two discharges. This is capable of somewhere around 50 plus amps between them. I don't know the exact specifications, so I'll have to try and work it out. I'll have to have a look around and see what, see what it takes to get these things running. But definitely time to do some smashing awesome um, discharge tests. Now these are Christmas presents per se, but they will be going back to Jaren um, because I don't need to keep them. But it was a, a conversation we had a few weeks ago about testing this even further and seeing if we can push it and blow fuses and all that sort of stuff. Okay, we'll use the, the larger one of the unit uh, just for fun. A power cable with a horribly dodgy power plug. It does work, but I never like these little adapters. Of course, I've got this bigger adapter, but it doesn't fit. It just doesn't work, so to run with what I got, plug it in. There we go, power's on. Fair amount of glare on that poor little screen. Oh, well, there we go, you just press that little button. And it changes the screen. You can dial it up and down with the knobs. There's not much instructions un unfortunately how to use it. Uh, it's also got three power inputs. It's got one there or three power jacks. One there. But the one you've got to turn it on with is at the back. Go figure. All right, let's plug it in. Positive to positive. And of course I've got to charge cell 5 up because it's been sitting for so long and I didn't charge it up after I finished with it last time. Okay, so we'll connect the load up. There we go. Sexy fan running. Now to be clear, this is just a test. This is just a test to stress cell five and see what we can do. But we've got more glare. Two amps, three amps, five amps. Can we turn it all the way up? Oh, that's 25 amps drawing. 25 amps through those little cables. Someone didn't do their maths, I think. We might have to upgrade those a little bit, I think. It's saying 44 degrees on the on the heat sink or whatever it is. Uh, the voltage is 2.39 volts. 24 amps. So the amp hours written there. Um, kilowatt hours there, probably the time underneath it, and 55 degrees there. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to let it charge up with the Opus because uh, I still haven't fixed the antimatter yet. I'm going to get onto that tomorrow, I hope. Charge it all up, and then we can actually do this discharge test. So holy, who? Okay, that's a really bad idea. They are so hot I can hardly touch them. That is completely, completely inadequate. That's all. That's dangerous. They're the cables that come with. There's also a USB cable for some unknown reason. Uh, so they both they both come with the same cables. That sort of current draw is completely in, in um, inadequate. Basically, what I'm going to try and do is hook 
both of the units up together and say if that can do 25 amps that must be able to do 25 amps as well I think so we can do a discharge at test at 50 amps but we're going to have to make some cables so let's try and work out how that's going to work it's very troubling when things get that hot that quickly isn't it why would you do it for 25 amps and provide shitty little cables like that anyways let's have a go at this um we're going to call this a video because it's going to take me a few days to actually finish this up if you want me to do any tests with these with that let me know below let's have some fun i still want to give that away if someone wants to show up and pick it up but they're just going to have to wait until i do some tests cheers